I wouldn't say I lost my confidence. Uh, it was just, it was just kind of tough. I, I dealt with a lot of injuries, you know. Uh, I had a couple personal issues like throughout the season, but no, I wouldn't say I lost my confidence. And do you feel how, how much? Did you add to, what did you gain in the off season as far as if you added things to your the offensive game in your mind? What? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, he they have me playing uh, the one. So I've been figuring out how to play the, like the point guard position on the college level uh, over a, a long period of time. And yeah, I feel like I've gained more confidence. And then, of course, Jawan got hurt, and so did Rojas. They won't be with you guys mm -hmm. this year. Coach was telling us that he's got you playing in some situations. He thinks you'll play the, the, the four spot mm -hmm. in his system. We'll talk about that and what in the, the role you can play. I'm just out there to do whatever they need me to do to win. Uh, if he needs me to play the five, I, I'll go out there and play the five. So, yeah, just my role on the team is just doing whatever it can to help the team. Oh, uh, yeah, playing fast, I feel like it brings excitement wherever it's at. Um, when he came in, he, he told us about how Buffalo, because I had never seen it well. I want to say I had never seen. I didn't like really watch Buffalo last year, but when he started showing us the clips of how they play, how fast they play, how how much fun they were having, it, it brought a lot of excitement to the team. Herb, you're your junior year now, man. Your, your freshman year, you guys, you know, Colin had some success in the NCAA tournament, and mm -hmm. last year losing to Illinois State and NIT. What's like in going through a coaching change? What, what are your expectations for just the team in year three? I just just trying to reach our maximum potential. Uh, of course, we. We don't go out to lose any games. We want to win every game. But we're just going to try to do it as, as best as we can this year. Yeah, we kind of take after him with his uh, energy. So uh, it's never a day he comes in the gym like down. You know, it's, it's always, he's always energetic and forces us to have energy as well. So, yeah, I would say it's, it's been a lot. Like, we've just been taking it after him. Hey, Herb, you, you've been really great on the defense in the first two years, especially taking charges. What goes into that just on the court this year IQ and to being a player who makes you good at taking charges like that? Coming up, I didn't really watch. Like, I watched college, but a lot of people didn't take charges as much. And so I just kind of wanted to add that to my game. So, like, when it happened, I mean, I don't know what goes through my head when I'm about to take a charge. But I, I mean, I just give up my body for the team. It gives me a lot of confidence, but at the same time, I still have to put in the work. So it just, it, it just kind of drives me to work harder. Yeah, and that was one of the things Coach Coach Oates uh, talked about when he first got here. He was telling us that, that we were basically the seniors of the team. And so I feel like uh, the four return to, well, the four juniors, we, uh, we're taking leadership of the team pretty good. Mm -hmm. The toughest got a guard. That is a great question. Mm. The kid from, I think, Florida? Uh, no, he, he went to uh, Virginia Tech, right? No, he transferred to Florida. No, it's, it's a guard. I think he's number. Um, oh, it's no, yeah, he's a freshman, though. Not Trey Mann. It's another one. Him. I, I think he, yeah, he, he's pretty tough. Who do you think is the hardest to score on? Saying teams? No. Individual. I don't really know. Uh, Trendy? Trendy Watford? Mm -hmm. Like, I've played with him. A lot, so I feel like, like out of anybody, he would know, like what I, yeah.